It's five. And here we go. Round one underway in the all blue. In his bag of teen in the blue and white. Duplicy unleashed the power of the bear with bear claw energy, bringing you round number one. The tension in this arena is just absolutely manic. Well, the crowd's on their feet. I mean, they've had three amazing fights in a row, so they have to deliver here, and I think we both know that they will. Dino already looking a lot busier than we've seen him in his past fights in terms of mixing things up and throwing some kicks into there as well. Nice kick to the body by Duplessis backing up Bagatine, who is extremely aggressive here in the opening seconds. Both guys have incredible power, both swinging for the fences. Bagatine looking to land. Drick is Duplessis landing a knee in the clinch. How many crazy fights have we seen tonight, Cyrus? And certainly this is, even though it's only been going on for a minute, another manic one itself. What a story tale. Win it would be for him to win after winning an EFC one kick. to win an EFC 40. Fairy tale story for him, but he's got a lot of work to do. Oh, he caught, he caught Drickers with that one right hand. Caught him again, but now Drickers closing in the gap, trying to get in for that takedown. He gets a hold of that leg, looking for a single leg, and looking to get Bagatine to the ground. But almost immediately, Bagatine's got that underhook locked in. Looks like Drickers is going to let go of that takedown attempt. Bagatine now wants to spin him around and put him against the fence. Wow, frantic stuff early on. Both men looking very, very focused in this fight. Both men want this victory. Good left, solid left by Drickers. But we know Bagatine can take a shot. Oh, we've seen it many, many times. And that striking game of Bagatine is really like no other. Very impressive. Drickus is swinging wild. Mixing the elbows in as well, throwing that forward elbow. That's the one big thing that Drickus, especially younger in his career where he struggled a little bit, is he, he actually got so overexcited inside the hexagon, he forgot to regulate his breathing. And in a fight with this much anticipation and this much adrenaline, it must be coursing through both of these guys could be right back there again. He's one of those fighters that he really keeps you guessing. You don't know where he's going to hit you and where he's going to hit you from. Very unorthodox striking from Trickus Duplessis, and that could be dangerous. Magatine yeah, just controlling the center of the hexagon right now. Just frantic stuff with two minutes, 10 seconds remaining. Well, the crowd's loving it here in Johannesburg at the Big Top Arena. What a night we've had, Cyrus Fees. What's that? What a night we've had. Oh, I mean, it just... And the noise inside this place is just crazy at the moment. If any event you're going to do it, your 40th event has to be one of the ones that you impress on. And uh, these fighters have put every bit of effort into it, even at the prelims. Nice knee coming out of the clinch there by Trickus Duplessis. A very lethal knee. Oh, he oh, gets the Oh, Dino's chip. in trouble here. Duplessis going to look to finish. He's got Dino hurt. Looks for the takedown. He's grabbing all over the cage. Dino is. Dino's in big trouble. Duplessis looking to finish. Lands some big shots. Now Dino fires off a punch of his own. Good left again by Duplessis. You know what that's called, grabbing that cage? That's called being a veteran. And what he did, he didn't get penalized for it, but it saved him and allowed him to recover. I like how Duplessis is finishing those combinations as soon as Dino tries to duck underneath the punches. Getting a knee right on the chin. D Dino Bagatine pushing forward. Looks like he has recovered now, but phew, that was desperately close. Duplessis landing Duplessis. some shots, and now Bagatine landing some shots. Everything to fight for. That left hook is really working for Drickus at the moment. Yeah, he can't that seem to get left back hook. And, team. and now Drickus looks for the takedown and he gets it successfully. Nice little shot there by Drickus Duplessy. He timed it right. Hasn't quite got him on his back yet as he looks to finish it. See Norman Vessels in his corner is telling him to get back to his feet and he's going to do so successfully. Hip wow. throws Drickus as he tries to get his back. Beautiful throw by Dino Drickus, Bagatine. Drickus can still get his back from this position, though. But there's not enough time that'll remain for him to work. Seconds remaining. 
Final seconds here, final moments of round number one. Wow. <laughs> this is a five round fight, but these guys are given every bit of it. You know how everybody turns it up in the last 10 seconds. That was the whole round. They were turning it up. To From that beginning to finish, something worthwhile noting is during the build-up of this fight, Dino actually apologized to mixed martial arts fans around the world for what happened in Cape Town between Gideon Drotsky and Jamila Maput, and he said, the two of them are going to come out here tonight and show you exactly what the sport is actually about. And my goodness me, it has delivered so far. Oh, so, yeah, most definitely a tremendous round in, in a night of amazing rounds that we've seen here. Let's take a look at our TNC corner cam as we're in the corner of Dino Bagatine and FFM. Now to drink his tooth C, Team CIT as he gets his instructions. If he fights smart and listens to his trainers, drink his tooth C, the sky's the limit. He has that much natural talent. He's getting better before our eyes. Make no mistake, so is Dino Bagatin. He is just firing on all cylinders tonight. We all knew as soon as he had a solid wrestling and jiu-jitsu game, he was going to be a problem, which he has shown to be tonight. Round number two. Good, solid leg kick by Bagatin. That's something that's been missing from his game with a lot of boxing that he spent his last couple of years working on. Unleash your inner grizzly, guys. Bear Claw Energy Drink, round number two. Uh oh! Drinkus might get in trouble. He ran into a nice hook by Bagatine. Straight right by Bagatine. That short little left hook from Drinkus has really been working so far tonight. And you can almost see he's limping a little bit on that yeah. leg, so he's already paid dividends with the leg kicks as Bagatine. It's definitely slowing looking down for the a takedown bit. stuff. The sprawl from Great. Bagatine. That is relentless strength. And explosive talent right there. That is, that's what a 21-year-old does, my friend, if he can just keep going at it. Bagatin is going to manage to reverse that. He's going to look to take Drickus down. Drickus has got a hold of his neck. He's going to have to watch, watch out, out and stick his neck out. Yes, as I beat Darren Daniel. Let's go over now. A great technical fighter here. I mean, and now Bagatin has got Drickus' back. What can he do? Is he going to go to the striking game, or is he going to try to sub? No, Duplessis is trying to reverse him, but Bagatin is still got his back. He's got a hold of the arm. Rickers is going to be able to slip loose, transitioning and scrambling. Absolute madness. He couldn't follow through with that armbar attempt, and now he is on his back again, going for the arm. The very strong Duplessis on top of the situation and great reversal skills. He looked like a veteran out there with that one. He's looking for the Kimura was was Bagatin for a moment there on the on the outside of Drickus. Drickus taking a couple of big deep breaths. They're gonna happy stand to, up, happy to get back standing and you're gonna hear the crowd yeah, in up. appreciation. Here we go. Bagatin and Duplessis back to their feet. This has been an absolute clinic. It's been completely exciting. Two true warriors from different generations. Good nice use shot. of the shot to the body, I like that. Big shot by Duplessis though. A little wild, a little unorthodox, that's what makes him special. It's a good though. shot by, it looks like Bagatine has hurt Drickus here. Now Drickus shoots for that takedown. It looked like a good sprawl by Bagatine. You know, he's using that. He always has that in his back pocket. He is said, that takedown attempt. He can get it just about every time. But great reversal there as he tries to come out on top. Dino Bagatine using every bit of his energy. But he's still on still his back. Still trying to reverse Drickus. And now finally Drickus in the full mount. Oh, in, the, in the full guard, my apologies. Looking for that for the on board now is Dino Bagatine. Beautiful. He's... He, very, very nearly had this in the scramble. He looks to get Drickus from this position. Very, very sneaky by Dino Bagatin. And he's got that, those skinny long limbs that are great for arm bombs and triangles. Now Drickus is going to take Dino's back. Dino shakes him off, but Drickus is still on top of it. He's got the one hook in. He's going to lock a body triangle in. This will restrict the movement for Bagatin. He's going to have to try and turn towards the side where the ankle is locked in. His left side to put Watch pressure. Out right here, but he's got this in, it seems. Anything he does, and anything he does. Drickus Duplessis 
You kicks. can't stop this young man. You can't stop him when he grabs a hold of you. He has so much strength, Dirk. So much strength, and he is on his way to a title shot. It may not be announced right now, but it may be announced very soon, because that kid is ready for a belt around his waist. How stack is this welterweight division? So much talent, top to bottom. And Drickers Duplessis had to work for it tonight. There's no doubt in my mind this is the toughest fight that he's been in. My goodness. He, he showed us a lot. He really did. He went through the storm. First, he takes out Darren Daniel. And now, a win over Dino Bagatine. Wow, his resume is getting pretty impressive right now. Incredible. Just absolutely incredible. Let's go to Shane. Ladies and gentlemen, Referee Vickis Suarez has called a stop to this contest three minutes and 33 seconds into round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke, Drickus Still Knox Duplessis.